All right, so back to this. Just took a little break, so transition is kind of awkward, but great. Yeah, see you then. So I guess the question now is who else is going to show up, right? Because given Sayori's, you know, kind of going out of her way to ask for this, right? Like she's kind of making the club go out of its way to like accommodate or whatnot. Like she's obviously going to show up. That's, I'm pretty sure that's guaranteed. And then the question is, okay, you know, what about everyone else? Yuri's effectively quit the club. I think the MC is going to really need to, like, work with her in order to get her to show up. Natsuki, maybe. Like, it's ultimately debatable. Like, th that's really the question now. Okay, who else is going to show up? Awesome. I got to get home, but I'll see you both tomorrow morning. Yep, good night, Sayori. Good night. Okay. Well, that was a pleasant surprise, don't you think? Yeah, it's always good to see her. Now, what was that thing I was going to say? What was he going to say? I really don't know. Hmm? Oh, I remember now. I told you so. Like, yeah, you win this time. These rare victories go a long way in my book. This is like freaking, uh, what was, in Relapse, the MC just annihilated Monica, like, roasted her with, like, one line, and she could never come back from that. They still love the club. Life is just getting in the way. But, he, no, the MC's, does he really think that Yuri just didn't straight up quit the club? I mean, do, I don't understand, like, how you could think that. Like, given she left the group chat, like, hasn't showed up for the, at all this week. Like, I don't, because, yeah, I mean, Natsuki, granted, this applies to Natsuki, right, as well. This applies to Natsuki and Suri, but not Yuri. The MC, he's going to need to work with Yuri in order to get her to show up Saturday. Perhaps it is, but there are still two unaccounted for I don't see how the MC is going to, like, reach out to... Like, now, it's going to be so... It's going to seem so selfish in Yuri's eyes. The MC reaching out to her just so we can sort of satisfy Monica, right? Baby steps, Monica, one at a time. I work reality, not miracles. You don't even work reality. At least you're honest about it. Can we go home now? I can feel my bed calling me. I'm sure it's screaming for you. Lead the way. What time is it? Finally. Wait. I need to change again. Uh... Like, what? did he just, like, have a spasm or something? Like, just chill. Like, what are you even doing? Like, just, first, if anything, if he's so pissed off, just have her change in a different room. Like, all right, just let me know when I can lay down. Like, he he's not gonna, like, eventually your movements... Like, please, I don't make this weird. Like, please. Like, I was just gonna say, like, he just walks down to the hall and, like, passes out. Like, is he that tired? But he's, like... I stand down in the dark hallway. Eventually, you move and seem to sounds. Monica? Listen, this is a bad move. Like, I really don't know. Like, I just, just throwing that out there. Like, th there's no way, like, this ends up that's good, right? Like, this doesn't end up anywhere good. Like, I, this already is looking like, it's already fixing like it's gonna end up somewhere, like, not good, right? No response. Monica? Oh, I, I have to click. For whatever reason, I thought I was going to uh, end. Nothing again. I'm coming in, okay? This, this... <sighs> I think we all know where this is going. Like, this is, I mean... First off, this is... No, well, no, not that. This is, like, the wrong conclusion to draw from this. If anything, just, you know, text her, because presumably, you know, she has her phone or whatnot. Granted, if it was been, like, 30 minutes, okay, yeah, then that may be understandable, right? But it's literally been, like, 20 seconds. He just needs to, like, chill. I'm, I think we all know where this is going. No objection is given. Hold on, she fell asleep before, oh, before saying anything. I thought it was going to end up weird. I can't blame her. It's been a long day. That's why I was like, give her some time, like, chill. I try to make my way into the bed without disturbing her. Well, it depends on which side you're sleeping on, right? Obviously, the left side will complicate things. MC, so much for not waking her up. It's literally been like two minutes. Yeah? Okay, it's you. Who else would it be? She opens up space for me. I take it without hesitation. Literally, who else would it be? This this isn't even her house, so that's like not even a worry. Right? Her bio's next to my, her head on my chest. That's why I'm like, who, who else would it be? Okay, who else could it even possibly be? Good night. Good night. Moment sends an old lyric through my mind. It's so easy when the whole world fits inside your arms. Okay, I'm just wondering what the dream's gonna be. Like, is the subconscious gonna roast him again? The silence of the night as well as the moon lulled me to sleep. She just needs a little more reassurance. 
okay so what about the rest of the club i don't care about this whole thing going on between them i care about the club more than that sure the problem won't vanish but you're on your way to gain her out of the hole tomorrow will be a good day you sure about that just trust me on that why would i even trust his subconscious speaking okay hold on that's why i'm like uh turn it down turn it down okay it's already friday so the weekend meetings actually tomorrow which is for whatever reason i thought it was way earlier and i'm like okay we're gonna have a couple or few days of filler but no it's literally the day after today so thanks out of nowhere monica's hand hits the clock silencing it because presumably she's on the left side right thanks i hate that thing i mean you gotta use it though then why do you keep it she she slept with jeans on okay like listen the mc's gotta cut it off here like that that's a red like like if you sleep with jeans on like that's that's like the most psychopathic thing you can do it does wake me up it's annoying but serves its purpose i see where you're coming from but i have to ask again she points to her uniform oh right i'll leave you to that like that's the first thing you like you you usually chill like for at least a bit when you get up you don't just like or at least you should get up earlier than if you like just need to immediately rush out like i guess i'll have to get used to changing here she doesn't seem to want to leave but I, I, at least we can recreate this morning routine this natsuki that's interesting is she gonna ask about the club on the weekend because that's it that again this is interesting this is actually very interesting that uh natsuki's like uh interacting with us right because ultimately yuri she's effectively quit the club it's still beyond me how no one's pretty much picked up on that but Natsuki on the other hand is debatable it's questionable you know whether she's in or not but her reaching out to us it's a fairly good sign and given Sayori asked about meeting Saturday it, I think there's a pretty good chance she'll ask that too but obviously we need to see can you tell Monka I can't make it today we moved the me into Saturday there isn't one today why not is there not one today I just assumed you know we're having our own separate there was an gonna be a separate meeting Saturday Seems to fit schedules better. Can you make it? Yeah, my dad will be out of town, so I'll be free. Okay, that's, yeah, so that's good. So that sets up that Nas is gonna show up Saturday. Obviously, though, you know, so with them for, you know, agreeing on that, or with them for agreeing to meet Saturday, or saying that, yeah, they'll be there Saturday or whatnot, the last one's Yuri, and I don't think it's gonna be easy for the end because in a way yuri will yuri will likely see that as selfish on the part of the mc that she's dealing with her own problems and issues but the mc wants her to show up just so he can satisfy monica or whatnot that's in a sense and even if she doesn't see it that way that's kind of how it is and that's extremely selfish on his part but it'll be interesting because i don't think it'll be easy just say like oh can you show up saturday i think he's really gonna need to work to get your job awesome see you then yeah, yeah, just let me know where and when soon. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Because, like, no one talked about the logistics of the Saturday meeting yet. They just said, oh, yeah, let's meet Saturday. I will. The MC doesn't even know. Smiling on my phone. I feel proud. I told her so. The satisfaction being right is so much better than anything else. He's still got one more, though. Now just for you. But I can figure that out at school. How will you even do that? Boredom begins to send as I wait. It's almost 7. What's taking her so long? She has a long morning routine, like, chill. There she is. Sorry, it took a little long. I was doing something. I mean, here's the thing, though, right? They still, like, they, the, the MC's gone up in, uh, like, what, 650 before? I think that was the latest when he was doing his old morning routine or whatnot, so this isn't really that big of a concern. In my room, I wonder what it could be. Unless he doesn't have, like, anything weird, it shouldn't be an issue. Don't sweat it. So he always didn't show up yet, so you're good. Oh, and by the way, Natsuki can do tomorrow. Awesome, that only leaves Yuri. I still don't know why they think she's actually, like, in the club anymore. She's hasn't showed up at all this week. Quit the group chat. Like, that's basically, like, that's about as much, like, that's, that's as, like, much as you can quit the club without directly stating it, right? That, like, that's a, it really is just effectively quitting. Wait, what was that sound? Okay, that was not, I was like, uh, what is that? Like, ambience? Right on time. Walk up to the door and fling, fling it open. okay this is interesting this oh my god <sighs> there was no possible way we could have anticipated for okay let's let's sort out the logistics first before we even get into sort of like what this actually means how does yuri even know where the mc lives like that's the first question because the mc never showed her like his home so the question is okay how does she know we're even here how does she know the mc lives here maybe from sayori Maybe Sayori and Yuri have been interacting behind the scenes. That would be interesting. 
so that's kind of the logistics aspect. The Yuri likely got it. That's that has to be it, right? She doesn't know where he lives, so she had to have gotten it from Sayori. Second, th there's no way you could have possibly predicted this, like predicted like Yuri being here. Like there's no possible way. Okay, so given I was just quite asking about Yuri, this is gonna be interesting. So yeah, I mean, cause well, presumably Sayori's gonna show up too, right? Just like slightly later <laughs> or like maybe even just immediately after but yeah so yuri being here there's no way we could have possibly anticipated this like predicted this that's god that's so interesting like i don't even know what's gonna happen now because yuri she left the group chat effectively quit if anything i think it's more likely she's gonna state like oh yeah monica i quit the club i don't want to like lead you on or whatnot i just wanted to say it up front you know i'm dealing with my own issues or problems because honestly, th th I think this could go in a lot. Of I think that's the most likely direction. She just wanted to, you know, be polite, respectful, saying like in person, like I didn't want to lead you on, like I'm quitting the club or whatnot, like I'm no longer part of it. I'm dealing with my own issues or problems, like I stated earlier. I think that's the most likely direction this is going to take. But this is so interesting, because yeah, she definitely had to have gotten it from Sayori, and Sayori's probably just gonna show up immediately after. But yeah, that's so interesting. Like, I could have never predicted, like, this is sort of, like, a turn of events. I thought the MC was going to try and fail at get Yuri to show up Saturday. But this is, honestly, this is interesting. Well, no shit, Sherlock. And also, it's been so long since we's at, we've actually seen Yuri in this mod. We haven't seen her since our interaction with her, like, at midnight in the school or whatnot. Which was, I don't, when was that? That was, was that before this? Yeah, that was before that, too. That was, like... Yeah, because we learned about our issues before the route even started, I think. Or was it? I don't know. That's in- this is in- this is so interesting. I could have never, like- This mod never ceases to amaze me, despite the, uh, despite the spelling errors. Uh, Yuri, hi. It's like, how, how do you know where I live? Like, uh, how'd you get- uh, Sayori, that's the only explanation, you know, she got from Sayori. Hello, MC. Monica. What brings you here on this fine morning? Dude, stop. You sound like a dad. Like, okay, okay first off- Y Yuri's probably surprised, well, she may not be surprised that, because that's also the question, right? Yuri, like, knocks on his door and also sees Monica, because presumably she was going to go to him, right? Because, yeah, wait, hold on a second. She doesn't know about Monica and the MC at all. So there was no way she could have gone to Monica, because if so, she would have gone to her house. She wouldn't have gone to the MC's place, because she didn't know Monica and the MC were a thing, much less living together. So presumably she was actually coming here for the MC, which I think that's very interesting. And then all she like knocks on the door, MC opens up, she just sees Monica's. That's interesting. I think that's, I'm just wondering what she'd have to do with the MC. Cause like I said, it makes sense if she went to Monica, you know, just formally like quitting a club, right? Saying like, I don't want to like, you know, I, I want to stay explicitly that I'm not part of this club anymore. And like, sorry if like you thought otherwise, but she couldn't have come for Monica cause she didn't know Monica was with the MC. She had to came for the MC. I, this is really interesting pressing matters but i prefer you speak about them in private she's talking to the mc right like i mean i'm because yeah there's no way she could have anticipated monica being here that's like not i don't see that as a possibility i look at monica she's just as confused as i am all right how about after school we're running a bit late as it is so he, again i don't see like granted yuri's here right now but i don't see you know, I don't see things looking good for Yuri given how the MC's acting, right? He's literally like, uh, later. I, you know, I have my date with my, he's, he's gonna be like, I need to spend my walk to school with Monica, right? Like, oh my god. Monica, honestly, has she not at all tried to reach out to Yuri? I feel like that's honestly selfish on her part. There's no way they can legitimately think that Yuri's still part of the club, right? Like, I just don't see how, but... Uh, I mean, so, yeah, presumably Yuri came for the MC and she wants to speak with the MC in private or whatnot, and which is really interesting. I have no clue what it would possibly be about. Presumably, you know, her issues and problems, but there isn't anything the MC doesn't already know. He just doesn't care. That works fine. I'll meet you at the club room. Sounds like a plan. I'm afraid I must go now, but I'll see you later. But yeah, that's, well, we're both going to school, right? But I mean, yeah, so she's talking to the MC, right? So the MC won't be able to, unless the MC does something stupid like bring Monica's. Well, that'd be like the dumbest thing. Okay, have a good day, Yuri. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is interesting. Farewell, MC. What was that all about? 
I would tell you if I knew, but I'll let you know when I find out. He's like, I don't even know how she knows where I live. Like that's, I feel like that's something, you know, he should be more worried about like, wait a second, how does she know where I live? Good, of, of everyone, I'm the most worried about her, but you have noticed how you're the most worried about her, but haven't done anything. It's just now occurs to me what it could be. Actually, I think I may have an idea. What is it? Remember when Yuri left the group chat? Yeah, but how does that correspond? I met up with her that night. We met at school. Please don't tell me the MC's gonna spill. Like, this is just straight up a betrayal of trust on the part of Yuri. There's no reason for my. This is just the most selfish thing the MC could do. Like, completely betraying the trust of Yuri just to make Monica feel like satisfied. Like, there's no. If if MC spills the beans, there's no way he actually like succeeds in helping Yuri. Like, that's kind of like the nail in the coffin there. Like, there's no way he actually like legitimately like succeeds in helping Yuri. She told me some rather unsettling things. Okay, so he's not being... But here's the thing. She's going to constantly worry, given... Here's the thing. Now, if she reaches out to Yuri saying, Oh, the MC told me you met at school, like, said some stuff. Yuri's just, like, that's not going to end well for Yuri. Like, the MC really screwed up here. He shouldn't have said that. Like, he really shouldn't have said this. And then, yeah, now Monica's going to be worried, though. Yeah, th this was a mistake. The MC really shouldn't have told her that. Like, that was the wrong move. I, I don't see... Granted, he didn't tell her specifically, but now she's just gonna- This is, like, the worst ending for both Monica and Yuri. Like, this was the worst outcome for both of them. The MC really shouldn't have said anything. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Really shouldn't have done that. I'll tell you on- Please don't tell me, actually. That's just a complete betrayal of trust on the part of Yuri. Like, and this isn't even, like, doing it so that Monica can legitimately help Yuri. Because she hasn't. Right? Like, she left the club and no one's cared about her, so- Saying something now isn't gonna change anything. The MC knew about her issues and problems, still didn't help her. Like, telling this to Monica isn't gonna make it so that Monica reaches out, because the MC didn't, right? So this is just a complete, I, I don't see this, like, I don't, listen, I think, I think, sort of, I don't know, this isn't gonna end well for Yuri. This is, MC, this really was the wrong move here. Like, if he actually does tell her. Patiently, she waits for me to start spilling. All right, just let me talk it all out. She got into school that night somehow. She seemed off. She wasn't her normal self. She told me about demons, her inner demons. The worst part, she told me about her thing with knives. She cuts her, okay, yeah. Like, this, this is just the nail in the coffin here. Like, ultimately, you know, just complete betrayal of trust on the part of Yuri. And it's not like, you know, they're going to help her. Because the MC knew about this and didn't do anything. So, like, th this is just, I don't see it ending well for Yuri. Like, I don't see it. And that's so unfortunate, just because, like, he, he could have actually done something, but instead, he does the one thing he shouldn't do, which is tell others. Like, okay, I think that's all. This is bad, very bad. She needs help, but I know she won't talk to a doctor about this. She's not going to even talk to you two, given that the MC completely betrayed her trust. Why not? Every time we suggested one, she this is hap- wait, what? So this has happened before. So did Mo did Monica know about- Okay, honestly, this is confusing. Because this implies, you know, it at least got to the point where they knew something was off with Yuri and that she needed a doctor. Even if it wasn't specifically her cutting, like her demons or whatnot. Like if she's talked to- Okay, listen, I'm this isn't gonna end well with Yuri. If- She's brought this up before with the club, and they've done nothing about it. Doctor isn't the solution. That's a part of the solution. The other part is, you know, actually being there for her, which the MC hasn't been, Monka hasn't been, no one's been. I, I don't see this ending well for Yuri. I mean, like, this is just complete failure on the part of Monka and the MC here. For the MC, so first off, he didn't help Yuri. It'd be a different thing if he was helping Yuri and told Monka, but he didn't even help Yuri. Like, he didn't even reach out when she quit the- Like, he didn't even reach out. He did the one thing he shouldn't have done, which is told anyone else. Like, he did the one thing that Yuri told him not to do. And then apparently, given that this has happened before, and no one else in the club has done anything, like, I, I don't- This isn't gonna end well for Yuri. This just shows complete failure on the part of everyone else. Like, th this is like saying, okay, take meds to cure your depression, and that's all you need to do. Like, it's the pra it's the practical equivalent, or the Yuri equivalent. 
really is just failure on the part of everyone else here. Like, there's no sort of, like she used the term deny. There's no denying it that everyone else has failed Yuri here. I mean, give, because at first I thought it was the MC, right? Okay, no one else knew. They may have just ignorant thought Yuri was still part of the club. But if this has happened before, just complete failure on the part of everyone else here. Could it be a bad past experience? Maybe, but you could be the key. This is just complete failure on the part of everyone else here. I mean, I really don't know what I expected when I chose Monica here. I definitely didn't expect everyone to just completely fail Yuri here. Me, why me? She saw you ought to talk to you about it. Obviously, she feels comfortable talking to you about it. But here's the thing. Everyone else knew. Like, I don't see how, like, how did, I don't see how they knew. Like, because she's saying the MC special because Yuri talked to him about it, right? But they all knew it as well, so what happened regarding that? I mean, so maybe you can break through to her. I see what you mean, but I'm not trying to deal with this stuff. You you didn't even try. He hasn't even tried yet. I mean, like, that's the first step, right? Like, you gotta actually try. Like, I know, but you can try. There you go. He hasn't done that. How long has he known about this? It's Friday in game time. He learned about this Monday. The last interaction he had with Yuri was then. He just straight up hasn't done anything the whole week. And now he's like surprised. Like, I don't know. This is just complete failure on everyone else. Really. I don't know. I don't know. If you can try. Like, that's... Okay, this is just the MC is like completely failing here. Do it. And then now they're making this about, oh my god. This is like the most selfish thing in existence, right? He's gonna do it for Monica. Not even for Yuri. This is honestly... Like, I, I really hate, like, route base Like, because this was the issue with uh, Fallen Angel, right? Obviously, it was a Yuri route-based mod. It wasn't a route system mod where you could choose your own thing. It was just straight-up Yuri route-based. However, none of the other... The other characters were just completely, like... He just completely cut ties with them. Like, see where he committed suicide. He straight-up didn't care. Like, Natsuki just completely irrelevant. He didn't care about her. Like, in fact, so when Sayori came back, she only served, like, for the plot. Like, it wasn't even like the MC was legitimately concerned about her. He was just doing it for Yuri. And then ultimately, Monica was like, they just made her evil for no reason. So, it's just like, this, like, this is the most selfish reason to actually help her. Like, I don't, I really don't see this end, I don't see how this could possibly end up well for Yuri. I mean, I really don't. That guilt trip. Okay, now that uh, this is, like, I actually... This is like the most selfish thing in existence. Like, she, like the MC's like, uh, I don't really want to help Yuri. Monica's like, do it for me. He's like, okay, I'll help Yuri so that I can satisfy your needs. Like, this is the most selfish thing in existence here. I don't see this ending up well for Yuri whatsoever. You have my word. This is like, honestly pathetic, really. Like, everyone else just failed Yuri here. Thank you, MC. It means a lot to me. And I'm sure it'll mean a lot to Yuri. And that how she says her first. Like, this is just, honestly, this is just pathetic. Like, I'd rather... Yuri, honestly, if I were in Yuri's position, I'd rather have no help than, like, whatever is going on here. Like, this... You're lucky, Ella. I'm... <laughs> They're really making this about the MC and Monica. Okay, like, I really... I don't see this ending up. There's no possible way this ends up going well. Like, there's zero possible chance. Like, I know I am. I... Uh, like, I really don't care about this. I really don't. The Yuri talk took up all the time to get to school. Damn, we have, like, ten minutes before school starts. Don't care. Like, really don't care. Just get on. I just want these two to, like, separate. That's still better than no time. Yeah, that's true. I won't see you after school, though. You... Please don't do something stupid. Like, bring Monica. Like, please. Let's... Let's... Okay, so... Okay, so at least he's not gonna do something selfish. Like, bring... I... Like, there... There's... There's no way he succeeds. Zero... He did the one thing he shouldn't have done, and that was betray Yuri's trust. Like, you know, okay, like, let's, let's look at the MC's options here. Legitimately help Yuri, or try and help Yuri, or do the one thing she told him not to do. Weigh your options, the MC picked the wrong one. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, that sounds wrong. I really don't care about this. I couldn't care less. Not what I was shooting for, but hey, it worked. Don't care. I'll make it up to you when you get there, I promise. You sure do make, I don't care. Just skip through all this text. Like, skip, I, I really don't care. Like, okay, so get the, I, I'm not even going to read through that. I really don't care. The room is quiet. A heavy atmosphere fills the room. I guess everyone realized how hard this math really is. An hard day in the books. At least it's Friday. Now for Yuri. Hopefully it's not too far down the rabbit hole. My mind fills with reluctant thoughts to even go. I swear to God, if he ditches, you know, I'd probably just quit the whole mod. 
thoroughly comprehending the situation the more he comes back to me. All right, you have my word. He's really doing this from God, this is pathetic. Like, honestly, he was, there's no way he succeeds. Zero possible way, like zero chance. Like, he's really, he's not even doing this for Yuri. He's doing, this is honestly, this is the most selfish, like, I don't think I've seen a worse case of, like, selfishness in any other mod. Like, honestly, if, if, like, if I were Yuri, I'd rather just die than have whatever the hell is going on right now. Like, actually. Like, well, time to be the good, Yuri, he's not even the good guy here. Like, okay. The door of the club room is open. I'm sure Yuri's are inside. She's over by the windows, quietly talking to herself. I'm, I'm ending it here. I mean, that was like probably the worst segment I've ever played. Like of any mod. Like that's just, I, I really don't see this working out. Like there's no possible way. Really, 0% chance. But whatever. So I'm going to end it here. Um, yeah, I, I really just want to save this. That was honestly so like sad. Like I, I couldn't even like continue like reading through. Like that was just... I don't know. I don't see this working out. I don't see this ending well for Yuri. Just don't. Like, really doing the wrong things for the wrong reasons here. He did the one thing he shouldn't have done while not doing, you know, what he should have done, right? Yeah, I'm ending it here, so. Yeah, I mean, it's really all I've got, so. So for this one, see you in the next one.